What's your relationship with Tony Okoroji today? <laughs> He's still my brother. <laughs> Even though sometimes, you know, he can't stand me, I can't stand <laughs> what he does sometimes, but, you know, he's still my brother. He, what he's doing with Kosan? Uh, I don't want to go there. I don't, I don't, I don't buy that. Why not? Why not? Like I said, I don't want to go there, you know. But he's just like a brother to you, so I'm sure mm -hmm. you, you, you don't have mm -hmm. an opinion about it. Mm -hmm. Tony is a, a very intelligent person, and... Uh, uh, he's seen an opening and uh, he's using it properly. How it affects the artist, I'm not too sure. I can't talk about things I'm not too sure of, okay? But even me, on the other side of the fence, as an MCSN member, I don't know the kind of benefits I'm getting from all of that, yeah. even as a director. You, you do interact, I'm sure, with, of course, the newer uh, generation of musicians and all of that. What are some of their concerns uh, when you talk with them? What do you think they necessarily would want to see happen? It's just like the youths of Nigeria. They don't believe in Nigeria per se. Everybody is out hustling, doing their own their hustling. Own personal dream. Their own personal dream, chasing it how they see fit. They don't believe in that collective because... We've had leaders in the past who have not been straightforward with us, has led us wrongly, who have not really been open with a lot of things that they've been doing. So uh, trust is a major issue, you know. And uh, most of the young people don't believe that collectively. I mean, when you start, even when you start as a young man, you want to do a good deed because maybe you get off you get your high, yeah. you know, from trying to uh, people. help people, uh, improve your environment, you know, add value to people's life. People are suspicious of that. Do you know? They are very suspicious. Like, which one is your own? Why are you just nice? Why are you just <laughs> nice being nice? Yeah. You know? So it is a problem. Yeah. So it's the same thing that the musicians are going on. Because, like on my own, I can make all the money. Thank God for the endorsement which... I started, yeah. Thank God for a lot of things, you know, particularly that endorsement. With the endorsement, with the shows, if I'm comfortable, why am I going to concern myself yes. with a platform that doesn't seem to have, yeah. you know, have things together, you know. Okay, let's let's leave all that now. You talk about niceness, and I wanted to go into something a little bit more personal <laughs> with the media. I mean, you you you've been written about countless times about basically everything possible. And I can't imagine what you haven't been written about. But I just I want to find out what's the worst thing you've, you've read about yourself. Nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> read about myself. Nothing bothers you. Uh, no, 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 no. It can't bother me because most of those things that you read, you know, they're all engineered by me in some way, directly or indirectly. Why do you do that? Because if I don't do that, you, you soon forget me, and I intend not to be forgotten. But you have this. to. You do you have to do it in no, ways that because, are very because unconventional ways. I don't look at them as unconventional. The people out there looking for me is a very normal thing. But because I understand your mindset, because, you're, okay, take for instance my ring. They're just rings to me. But a lot of people will read a lot of meaning into it. And because I understand that there are people out there who don't have that kind of depth, who can't see Charlie Boy past the rings and all the shenanigans. So you giving them that. So, yeah, they can have that. What about the that's, sexuality? That's me, that's me as an entertainer. What about your sexuality? Which what about you, my you sexuality? Almost, you've played it up a few times. Yeah, it's for you now. I just <laughs> paint all those pictures. You take what you want to take out of it. But uh, are you in doubt? Is it a point blank question you want to ask me? No, if I'm, why, if, why do you play that up? And whatever you get. Because people are busy eating it up. People are busy making it like a centerpiece conversation. Uh, this man, uh, look and well, oh, uh. yeah, yeah, it comes with the territory. Hello, what's your relationship with Denwele right now? Denwele, I do. Denwele started with us, yeah, 
was a very creative, crazy young kid. Still is. Still is. <laughs> I loved him so much in the beginning. Still do. But in the beginning, he was more wow. And I said, oh, that's little Charlie boy there. Uh, I think he started with, uh, with my wife. He used to choreograph the dancers in her band, you know, at the time. That's how we started. And uh, you mean the kissing thing with Derrick? Oh, did you did you leak that? Was that was that your your? Plan? It was leaked by my people. On purpose. On purpose, yeah. Did you tell them to do it? Because Derrick really claims he did. I think he says he didn't know about it being. Let's leaked, not right? let's not go there. But, but my point yeah. is, did you did you think you did it? Was it done with his concert? With their release concert. Yeah, leaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, sometimes you can agree to something, but when, when the heat comes up, whether you can take it or not is a different matter. Okay. Yeah. And I think uh, the thing was getting too heated for him at the time, too hot for him. So he was feeling a rather a little. I can understand that because it's happened to me in the beginning of my career. Things that I thought, okay. I didn't care so much about, okay, I allow, I allow it to pass. Mm -hmm. And then when the thing started to gain momentum, it's like, oh my God, oh my God, you know. So I understand all of that too. So did you apologize? How did you guys get past that? I didn't that? need to apologize okay. because we talked about it. And he said, go ahead. Why? So his reaction after him? was his own? Yes. yes. Do you still see him around? Do you still talk of with course. him? Of okay. course. Of course. We're still friendly you know I'm still I'm, I'm a big fan of his I wish I was that young <laughs> <laughs> I'm, still, I'm probably crazier let's talk about it. go back to TV now you're, you're planning a reality show looking forward to that because I can't mm -hmm. imagine what happens in your home but um, <laughs> um, my home is over normal you won't believe you won't believe it you won't believe sometimes it. normal, is, living you're, with you're normal is not everybody's normal you know? wait a minute I've been living with this woman for 38 years yes. I mean give me a break but nobody's saying you're doing anything <laughs> out of this world but I mean it was just no, but, nice to see you but it has to be that normal that regular for you to stay for me to stay rooted yeah okay. and stable emotionally what stable. Are your prank show people miss that what happened to it the charlie boy show don't worry now that's why i say i don't want to get into this discussion a lot of it's things almost, are planned over 20 years now uh, yeah a lot of things that uh, i'm planning all coming out this is my year 2016, yes, this is my... You're reborn at your 60s. Mm -hmm. I'm just <laughs> refreshing right now. <laughs> so, and it's a good feeling. What sort of music should we be expecting from you? Mm, I've always played High Life. So we're going to be hearing more High Life from you? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. We said a yep. movie as well coming out this year? Mm-hmm. Both the book. This year as well. This what, year is it well. an autobiography? And then don't forget, uh, I've been... We just started something new last year. The first Igbo carnival okay. in the East. Okay? I'm, I'm putting all that together. The That's going to happen this year as well? Yes. Yeah, it happened. Our maiden edition was in last, two, year. last year, December. Okay. You know, they have, you know how Igbo people go home during Christmas, yeah. you know, festive time. And then when they go, what happens? It's basically, your your marriages and burials okay so something there's more not fun. yes there's not something that brings everybody, everybody collectively to together so uh i saw that opening and then that's why we started the first in Jiko carnival but it goes beyond the carnival it's actually to get the use from that geographical era area to 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 start to look inwards because uh, i believe that God has given everybody a gift it's so for us to, to and then this youth that seem to be going haywire, all they need is just guidance. Great stuff. So book, mm -hmm. movie, carnival, music, TV show, mm -hmm. 2016 is great for you. Before we go, I noticed a cross on your, on you too, actually. How religious are you still? I'm not a religious person, but I believe I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a damn good Christian. Okay, yeah. You believe you're a Christian, but you're not religious. No, I'm not oh, religious. Okay. Like going to church and receiving yeah, holy, holy communion. I did that for the first 22 years of my life. And I remember when we used to go to catechism, Bible study, this, this, that, that. And if you missed one day, 
<laughs> in that house, you're in trouble. Do that, careful. <laughs> Apart from that, <laughs> do you know I had wanted to become a priest? Yes, we, I think you said that. Yeah, before. that was so much religion going on in my life. So you dropped the time. all of that. Why? I I, I didn't completely. really drop all of that completely because if you've been reading some of my stuff, by the time Pope Francis came back, I found I later on started finding the Catholic Church a little boring for me. But by the time Pope Francis came on the scene, I said. If Jesus Christ was to come back, that's how he's going to be living. So you might be coming back to church is what you're saying. So, I don't know coming back in that way. I've been, <laughs> I've been an altar boy. Okay. I've been, I've, I've done like about five months in the seminary. So, okay, and I know my Bible well. Okay. But, you know, all this going to church every day and on Sundays, uh -uh. I don't know about that. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, uh, Big Oga. I um, <laughs> hope your mood is a little lighter. Yes, <laughs> at the is. end of this conversation. I must confess, yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you very much yeah. for being here today. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Uh, like I always say, you can follow the conversation on Twitter, Wayanaja TV is the handle. The hashtag to follow is dropping minds. You can also visit the website, wayanaja.com. I'll see you next week. <laughs>